Hello Virgos! Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Garetti and today I'm going to do a reading just to check into the energies for the end of January here. Um, as everything's gone uh, in the planet's um, planetary changes, everything has gone direct um, as of the 23rd. So that is going to shift and change things a little bit. However, we are still, um, kind of in the shadow period. So we're still going to feel some of the like aftermath, you know, um, effects of the retrograde. So it's not full, like into the swing of things, but things are starting to get moving. So I had done this reading uh, in the morning before I came to the office and uh, so I've already pulled the clar cards and clarified them. Please know that this is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everybody. You know, um, be mature enough to, you know, take what resonates and uh, leave the rest, okay? And if, um, you know, um, if the reading doesn't resonate for you at all, then it's not your reading, just, you know, watch a different reading, right? Um, and what else did I want to say? This is for Virgos. If this is in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or north node, or really anywhere in your chart. Um, but yeah, if, like I said, if this resonates for you, you know, great. If not, leave it, take what does resonate, leave the rest. The other thing I just want to mention is we all have the capability, we all have intuition, we all could read cards. So as I'm going through the cards, because it's a general reading, I might not be able to get all the messages for everybody. Um, I try to get out as much as I can. Sometimes it doesn't all come through you know, that quickly. I go back and I watch readings and then I'll see things come through, right? So just look at the cards and use your intuition. This is a great um, technique to also build your intuition. Look at the cards and see what does your intuition say about that card for you in your situation, okay? All right, my loves, because the reading is still a message from, you know, spirit, right? So depending, um, I may not say it, you know, because I'm, I'm a reader, right? I'm human. I may not say it. I'm picking up on all these energies, but your intuition might be saying, hey, that card means this for you. So it still does apply. Okay, and usually that's what happens and that's what people don't realize. All right, so at the top of the uh, reading here, we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is the overall energy. So this is saying that you are still waiting for um, the fruits of your labor. You are still waiting for the investments you made, the um, seeds that you've planted, right? The things that you've tried to manifest and create. You're still waiting for these to come into fruition. So I'm not surprised because like I said, this is kind of that end uh, energy of still sticking around um, of the planetary changes, all those retrogrades, okay? Which does really stagnate things and make things go really slow okay um current energies though we see the wheel of fortune this is basically saying that the wheel is starting to turn your luck is changing you know karma is here things are going to start you know showing up the seven of pentacles is also my karma card so you have got two karma cards uh you know back to back here so this is saying that right now in this current energy Things are really starting to shift and change and move. You're going to start seeing things, but right now it's kind of like the wheel just started turning. Okay, but know that your luck is going to change. This is fortune. This is fate. This is destiny. Okay, things are starting to move and change. And, you know, we still are waiting, but karma is definitely coming in. Any kind of karma, good or bad, is going to be happening during this time. Okay? Um... What we see as the um, challenge is the two of swords. For me, instantly seeing this card, I am getting that you are, some of you are blocking your heart chakra and others of you are either stuck in denial or there's something that you don't want to see. For others of you, I'm getting you're actually, there's something you're doing there's something in your life that is blocking your manifestations from coming in. You know, you are basically blocking your blessings. You're, you're, you know, not allowing your blessings to come in. When I clarified that, we got the sun. Exactly what I said. You're actually blocking your own happiness here. For others of you, this is you're blocking your happiness by guarding your heart, blocking your heart. Um, 
not healing your heart, not opening your heart to the blessings. For others of you being stuck in denial or in a situation that's not allowing you this happiness. For others of you being at this crossroads, this is like indecision, not knowing which way to go is, you know, kind of blocking you from your happiness as well. When we're in this, you know, um, instability, this indecision, when we're manifesting and creating, when we're investing and we're planting our seeds, guess what happens? The universe, right? The wheel is turning. The universe wants to bring you this fortune, but the universe has no idea what to bring you because you're going, you're, you're indecisive, okay, with your thoughts, right? You're indecisive. For others of you, you're not seeing, this is also my opportunity card, okay? So challenge or opportunity. So for others of you, you don't see this coming. You do not see this happiness, the sun card here, this is ultimate happiness, this is bliss. You don't see all this happiness coming in and you don't see all this abundance and blessings coming in that you know the universe is gonna be pouring on you. And for some of you, this has to do with two of cups, this is a partnership, right? Whether it's a friendship, a romantic partnership, right? A soulmate, a divine union, match, it could be a business partner, Okay, others of you, I am seeing that you don't see this happiness coming in. Okay, this is my self love card. Okay, because you are finally going to get to the place of truly loving yourself and accepting the love from the divine. All right, um, and getting yourself this two of cups. This for me is balancing the masculine and feminine energies as well. Okay, this is bringing into harmony yourself and truly loving yourself here. Okay, for others of you, yeah, you are in denial. You're blocking your happiness. You are blocking your blessings. Okay, because of a connection that you had in the past that caused you a lot of pain with the Three of Swords here. Heartbreak, pain. This could be a partnership, this could be a friendship, this could be a family member, this could have been a parent, this could be a boss, a co-worker. Something happened with a connection that caused you a lot of pain. Past person, six of cups. For others of you, this has to do with your childhood. There is something that happened in your childhood. Others of you, it's with a past person that caused you heartbreak. That caused you pain. That you're holding on to and it's blocking. You're blocking your heart because of this. What that's doing, it's not allowing you to be happy. And it's not allowing you to love yourself for others of you, I'm hearing. And for others, it's not allowing these blessings to come in. You are also blocking your heart from the love coming in from the divine. And then we have the tower card. For many of you, there was destruction. There was chaos, okay? Something that happened that fell apart. It put you in isolation mode, the hermit. Looking at the star, your wishes, but you don't see it. You're in hermit mode, being really isolated in your head, eight of swords, okay? In conflict, right? In a battle here and in conflict, right? Five of swords, five of wands. For others of you, this tower moment, you know, this sudden change, um, you know, created a lot of chaos and conflict in your life. It caused you to be very isolated and really stuck in your head feeling really stuck, but it really it's in your head. It's not actual stuckness, right? What I'm also hearing is many of you, whatever this destruction was, you needed to have this happened. This falling apart needed to happen, okay? For you to go within and really connect to yourself and to spend time with yourself, okay? To resolve and change the hermit is all about this is Virgo as well the hermit is all this is you this is you connecting to you this is you becoming your best self this is you finally seeing the truth and the light loving yourself you know experiencing um connecting with yourself and with source energy right 
this was to break you out of these constraints of whatever internal battle, chaos, fight, conflict that you have going on inside of you from your past, past relationships, past person, past, you know, uh, in your childhood. And for others of you, there are changes. This is breakthrough. This is breakthrough. After this pain, this is breakthrough and you really going within and connecting. And you're breaking free from a situation. Drama and chaos. Conflict. Fighting. Breaking free from being in this internal prison because of this situation. Okay? Many of you have really gone through it. And you're blocking your blessings. So, near future, seven of wands. This is, you will rise above any obstacles that are put in your way. This is also, others of you, you're being in defense mode. You're really defending yourself, but what you don't realize is you're also blocking the six of wands, the success and victory that wants to come in. So it's two different messages here, okay? What we don't see, two of wands. This is you really, you know, making plans. For others of you, this is my prayer card, right? This is what are you putting out into the universe? What are you telling the universe? What seeds are you planting? What are you manifesting? You know, what is it that you're asking the universe? For others of you, it's you being at this kind of pause point, looking to see what direction you need to go in. Okay, and for others of you, this is you having already made a plan, you know the direction, and you know that you hold the world in your hands, you have all these possibilities in front of you. The advice card is King of Wands. This is saying that you really need to step into your power. This is leadership. This is you being a visionary. Okay, this is you being really confident. This is also my entrepreneur card. So for many of you, this is you needing to really um, take your power back. Possibly you need to be a leader here. Um, many of you, you know, are very charismatic. For others of you, it could be somebody new coming in. Um, but because this is advice, it's really saying so for some of you, you may need to choose the path of possibly, you know, doing things on your own, whether this to do with work, career, right? For others of you, this is to do with relationships. You really need to step into your power and know that you are a leader. Know that you have this, this power within you. Know who you really are. Be confident in yourself, okay? When I clarify that, I got, I did two separate clarifications. Okay, so the first one, this is you walking away. This is you leaving things behind. For you to get into this King of Wands energy, right? This is you leaving what no longer serves you behind and you're going towards your Nine of Cups, which is your wish fulfillment. This is you walking away from the moon, which for me is illusions, lies, secrets, I don't know why lies came out because that's not what I would have said, but okay, lies and secrets. Um, I'm hearing lies, things that, you know, no longer serve you in your subconscious mind. Um, the moon card is, um, you know, walking away from, you know, these, um, these illusions, walking away from fears. Okay, and this is you getting really emotionally stable. This is also you really nurturing, being nurturing, not just to others, but to yourself as well. This is really you going deep within and being stable in your emotions. Okay, working hard on that, mastering your craft, whatever that is. Okay, this is you being very emotionally mature. So whatever this was... In the past, the things that are blocking your heart, that are blocking your blessings, possibly things that you're in denial about, okay? That you're in defensive mode about, okay? This is you working really hard on mastering your craft or mastering your emotions, okay? But because this is the King of Wands, it's really saying for you to look forward, you know, be that visionary, right? Be confident, be charismatic. Be charming. Be be this this powerful 
passionate you. Grab that want, that thing that you're passionate about and go towards that. Could be to do with work, right? Could be work here. You're working, but you are definitely investing time, effort, knowledge, work, right? And charge forward. Take action towards this, okay? And you've really gained a lot of internal strength. You have the strength that you need within you to go towards and create this new beginning, whatever this is. And for some of you, it could be about a relationship or it could be about work. And this is, you know, um, or it could be about, you know, creating success or creating abundance, right? Abundance for everybody is different, whatever this abundance is. Um, it is saying charge forward, right? Take quick action, go towards it and know that you have the strength within you to create this. And guess what? It's going to be stable for you. This is the King of Pentacles. This is the Capricorn card as well. This is the Dad of the Zodiac, right? The final card in the Zodiac or the final card, sorry, the final card in the Tarot. But Capricorn is the Dad of the Zodiac. This is you really being stable and secure in whatever this is that your advice is, okay? And then when I further clarified, We've got the Six of Swords. This is you leaving behind what no longer serves you. This is you leaving behind that Five of Swords and taking the one sort of truth with you only. The truth of who you are, the truth of what you can do, right? The truth coming in from the divine. And what are you going towards? You are moving away from the chaos, the conflict, the darkness, the lack, right? The suffering. You're walking away from the hurt and the pain. You're walking, you're you're not walking away. You're moving away, but you were walking away. That was the first card as well when I clarified the eight of pentacles or eight of cups. But you're also moving away from all that yuckiness, all the turbulent waters, and you are moving towards what? And I heard paradise. And when I kept clarifying, we got the star card, your wishes wish fulfillment but also healing this is healing hope hope for the future and healing and towards your wishes you're moving towards your wishes which is your ten of cups you're happily ever after this is abundance this is success this is the family the career the life purpose the uh children the you know relationship this is all of it the money the health this is all of it and stability Stability with the Four of Wands here, possibly a new home. For others of you, this is marriage. For others of you, this is just celebration. For others of you, this is just being really stable. And for others of you, this is 11-11 card. This is spiritual awakening. For others of you, this is actually about balancing the masculine and feminine within and being in harmony with that. And then... We have, as the potential outcome, we have the Four of Swords. Many of you have been through a lot. You've really been through the ringer. We know the story. It, look at my other readings. There's lots of, you know, turbulence that Virgos have gone through. Okay, this is a time to rest and recover from all of that. While you're waiting, use it productively. While you are waiting for karma to come in, for your luck to change, while you're waiting for that, how about you work on the inner self part? Rest, recover, spend time meditating and connecting to source, right? Start being a visionary. Start looking towards your future. Start, you know, really, um, what, what do you want to create, right? Start looking forward. Start taking leadership in your life, I just heard. Whatever area that is. Could be health, could be money, wealth, you know, family, relationships, partnerships, business, career, your life purpose, whatever it is. This is saying you need to rest and recover. You need to heal the three of swords that we saw and you need to lay on that sword of truth. The same sword that you need to take with you when you move forward. You leave the five swords behind. So what's blocking you? What's blocking you? We are seeing what's blocking you. The conflict, whatever this battle is. And the pain, the three of swords. This is blocking your abundance and success. 
you need to heal that. That's what you're moving away from, right? That's what you're moving away from. With the Six of Swords here, you're moving away from this stuff, the fighting, the conflict, internal, external, with people, just within yourself, doesn't matter. And you're moving away from this heartbreak, the pain from the past. You're moving, you're leaving the past behind you and you're moving forward with just the one sword, the brand new beginning. Just the one sword. So you need to rest and recover. And when I clarify that, what are you resting and recovering from? And this very much is for you, Virgo. Ten of Wands, the burdens from the past, whatever this was that burdened you, physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever this was, devil energy, toxicity, whatever this, this could be a person, place, or thing, this could be addictions, this could be thought patterns, this could be a toxic person, right? A toxic, you know, situation at work, right? Devil energy. And then we have three of pentacles, right? This is maybe somebody that you worked with. This is somebody that you collaborated with. Many of you guys were really burdened by this devil energy because you were really collaborating with it. For others of you, right, you're needing to rest, heal, and recover from this devil energy, the toxicity, right? The burdens. And you need to co-conspire with spirit. I just heard co-create with spirit. All right? That's that sort of truth. Co-create with spirit. And rest recover while you're waiting for your ships to come in while you're waiting for these manifestations to come in while you're waiting for the wheel of fortune to turn while you're waiting for your luck to change while you're waiting for the karma for your investments to finally bring harvest while you're waiting for this you're going to rest and recover while you wait but it's coming in for you that's the outcome it is coming in and what's coming in Guys, you can't make this up. I'm telling you, I shuffled these cards. I laid them out. I did not manipulate this at all. Nine of Cups. That's what you're going towards. That's what you're waiting for, your wish fulfillment. Remember we saw Eight of Cups is what you're leaving behind, right? That's what you're doing. That was the advice. You need to leave what no longer serves you behind, and you need to go towards this wish fulfillment, okay? So you need to rest, recover, heal, Take a time out, breathe, spend time in solitude, I just heard. This is you taking a vacation, possibly, for others of you. This is really just being in solitude. Some of you need to sleep more. Others of you need to just rest. Others of you really need um, to meditate. Go within. And Ace of Swords, this is truth and clarity. That's what will come of this truth and clarity and a brand new beginning, right? That's where you're headed, taking that one, one sword with you, okay? And leaving behind any loss, grief, pain. Don't focus on that. Focus on the truth. Get clarity on what you want and do not focus on any loss or lack, okay? You need to move forward towards what you love, you're going to be moving forward towards what you love, whether this is a love interest or whether this is a situation, whether this is about your health, family, relationships, career. And you are going to put an end to a situation, to a mindset, possibly to a relationship in order to be able to move towards what you love. For others of you, this is just internal transformation. This is the death of the ego. This is a symbolic death. Okay, something needs to end for there to be a new beginning as well. For others of you, many of you, I think this is going to be a death and rebirth, a transformation, okay, because you are going to transform into this Empress energy. This is you really knowing your value and your worth, knowing who you are. This is the full self-love, all four queens in one. This is you knowing who you are. For others of you, you are putting an end possibly to something to do with a Libra I just heard um, or a Scorpio. For others of you, this is you ending, um, you know, something for you to get into this place of abundance, of receiving, 
of receiving your manifestations, of receiving your abundance and success. For others of you, this, whatever this is, ending a new beginning, okay, or a transformation is going to bring you to this place of Empress energy where you are abundant and successful and also creating and birthing new new ideas, new things, new situations, new relationships for some of you with the lovers at the bottom here. Okay. And six of wands, you're going to be very successful, whatever this is. Health, wealth, family, relationships, career, life purpose, spiritual spirituality, your awakening. Spiritual awakening, right? For others of you, I just, at the bottom here, uh, the lovers and the page of swords, somebody from your past that you possibly were in a partnership or connection, friendship, you know, romantic relationship um, is watching you, okay? Um, and watching you enjoying your abundance, watching you be successful, watching your luck changing and watching you becoming very abundant, watching the universe bring all of this, this big pentacle to you, whatever this abundance is for you. Okay. Because you went through this wounded warrior, you're tired, but guess what's coming? New inspiration. Ace of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. This is you truly loving yourself. This is my self-love card. This is you loving and nurturing yourself. And this is you walking away and leaving behind any Seven of Swords. People, places, situations, ideas, thoughts, beliefs, anything that would sabotage your success. Okay, and also because we have the world card here, this is completion of the seven of swords. Anybody dealing with narcissists, anything like that, any toxic, you know, people, this is liars, cheaters, stealers, whatever it is, this is coming to an end. And it could even be yourself within yourself. And why is it coming to an end? Because you're loving yourself. You finally got to the place of self love. And what does this do? This brings you to a brand new beginning with the full card here. Okay, this brand new beginning, you are going to set your boundaries. You know your value and your worth. The Queen of Swords has been through hell and back. But guess what? She's still soft. She's still loving. But she's got very clear, strong boundaries. And she's she's strong. She's got that inner strength. All right, my loves? That is what I have for you for your reading. And now I am going to pull you all a spirit message uh, a card or a few. We'll see how many want to come out. All right, Holy Spirit. Let's get to it. All right. Whoop. Messages and guidance, please, for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Virgo, for the end of January. Virgos. Messages and guidance, please. What does Virgo need to know? Okay, we have Is that right? Yes. And I'll see I might have Oh, right, bottom. Sorry. Like there should be four cards the way I did it. Okay. So, first card that came out is a father's love. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. For some of you, this could be this past situation that you have um, from your childhood possibly. Could be a situation with a father, a parent figure, a mother, a grandparent. Okay, um, but this is also the father's love, the divine as well. That love never dies. Okay, um, and for others of you knowing that even a father that possibly was toxic, that possibly didn't love you, that possibly created this lack of self-love and confidence within you, um, you know, whatever this painful thing was possibly from your childhood, for others of you, it is also about somebody dealing with, um, you know, it's like um, baby daddy, baby, you know, mommy uh, energy here. Um but knowing that no matter how toxic that person was, that deep down, we are all, you know, source energy. We're all, we all come from love. We're conditioned to be this toxicity based on our situations, um, you know, our egos. 
but we all come from love and know that deep down there is that love from that parent to the child, from the father especially. The strength gained from such love is often inquantifiable. And this is about, you know, love from the divine in that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason, whether your father is still here or has passed. A father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. Just know that even if they are this toxic person, it doesn't mean you need to allow this person to be in your life if that's the case. Nature. This is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body, and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalization, and strength. Nature has much to offer. So take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. This is what that outcome. Rest and recover right now. Some of you really need to spend time in nature. What does that mean? Maybe it's going to a cabin. Maybe it's going to the beach, you know, um, taking a trip. Maybe it's, you know, just spending some time outside, you know, going for a walk, hugging a tree. Even in winter, we can spend time out in nature. Nature helps us to re-energize. Okay. For others of you, I'm also hearing diet, more plant-based. Okay. For some of you, maybe you need to plant some things. Maybe you need to get a plant and nurture a plant. Talk to the plant. Touch the plant, right? Then we have have fun. Stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you. Something just for the joy of it. It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind, your ego mind and give yourself and soul permission to have fun get back into that childlike state your inner child connect to your inner child have fun be in that state of joy be have that childlike wonder you know for your life in the world again okay so this really is this is how we manifest and create when you rest and you get into this playful energy and you're having fun that is usually when the manifestations come in. And then we have inspire passion. Life devoid of passion. Inspire passion. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired, blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Um, I just heard with the, you know, um, have fun card here too. Some of you have been really just too serious, working too hard you know, carrying all the burdens, having to do everything. You need to have some fun. It cannot be all work and no play, okay? This is when you're having fun, I just heard, is when inspirations are going to come in, when this passion, these passionate ideas come in, and they don't come in from your mind, right? Even though it is coming in from your source, they come in through your heart. And what is your heart? That is that child, the inner child, your heart energy source. That's where it comes, okay? Now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. The planetary changes, this is all the next three months, right? This is what we need to be doing with Aquarius, the new moon, all planets going direct. This is saying you need to have the, you're going to have these new inspirations. Take hold of those ideas and run with it. King of Wands was your advice. It is saying for you to grab a hold of whatever inspires you, what this passion, what are you passionate about? Okay, and move forward. To create those things all right my loves that is all i have for you today thank you so much for being here 33 17 was on the clock that might mean something for someone um yeah if you haven't already done so please subscribe to my channel and for those who have thank you so much for being here don't forget to hit the bell icon uh button so that you get notified of new videos share this video with anybody you uh, think might enjoy it and also please hit that like button um you know, the thumbs up because I would really appreciate it. That's the only way that my channel can grow and that others see, you know, my work and my messages. Um, and yeah, I think that was it. Like, share, subscribe. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. I wish you all peace, love, and light. Until next time. Bye-bye.